What's up, y'all? How you doing? Just checking in with y'all with another update. Okay, so the last time I talked to y'all, I think it was like bad news. I had a blood clot in my leg and they had to push my surgery back. Yeah, all of that was very detrimental. It was very saddening. It was a lot to deal with. But we're back on track. Okay. So, now my surgery date is set for April 30th. And no news is good news. Everything is seem okay. I'm still on blood thinners um, for precautions and um, my leg doesn't hurt anymore, so I don't think there's no more blood clots there. And I've been in and out of the doctor for everything that you could think of. I had iron infusions, um, because my iron was depleted. Like I had no energy. I don't even know how I was talking or walking around because I literally had no iron. So I had to do an iron infusion. I did two sessions of that. Um, just been on blood thinners. My energy has slowly been returning. I've been feeling a little bit more energetic. Mm hmm. So, this week starts my liquid diet. Now, so for your liquid diet, two weeks before your surgery, you're on complete liquids. Well, for me, it's different for everyone. Um, depends on your doctor. The purpose of the liquid diet is to shrink your liver for surgery. It makes it safer and easier for the doctors to operate because it's laparoscopic. Um, so yeah, so I started my liquid diet today. Um, I brought me like, um, premier protein shakes. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it has 30 grams of protein in it. They are not the best tasting. Well, the caramel's not that bad. But the cookies and cream and the chocolate, oh, disgusting. It tastes like medicine and it's just not what's up. I can eat sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free jello. You can do a little chicken broth and the beef broth. I'm not a fan because it'd be so salty. But my mom like, you're going to want that after two weeks. Okay, so I'll probably end up trying that. I don't know. Um, You can do like smoothies, but you got to be careful with the smoothies because you don't want to have too much sugar in it. Um, berries are good for it. You can't like put apple juice in. I don't know if you put apple juice in your smooth, but you can do like the Greek yogurt, um, stuff like that. Of course, I drink a lot of water. That's never been an issue for me. Um, yeah, that's about it. And this liquid diet, I'm hoping I survive, but. I don't know because it's just liquid. What am I supposed to do with that? Um, I mean, really? Oh my God. It's just liquid. Uh, but I, you know, it's for a good cause and I'm strong and I'm determined. So the last time I started this liquid diet before my surgery, when it got rescheduled, I, it was... Ooh, it was I was telling my mom I was hungry every single day and um I would eat these popsicles and drink water and I could put crystal light in my water you know that's not bad I could do that in case I get tired of the whole water thing um and then the jello so I kind of like had a protein shake in the morning and then I had me a little popsicle for snack and then, like, for dinner, I'll have some jello. Like, I'm gonna lose like 30 pounds before the dang on surgery. Not that I'm complaining, okay? We can get a kickstart going on. But that's all I want to do. I'll check in with y'all, let y'all know. Surgery is still looking April 30th. They may not change it again, y'all. Because if they change it again, I would look at it as a sign and just be like, um, I don't know, lose weight the best way you know how. But I want this tool because I just need a little help. I just need a little hat. A little hat. That's all I need is a little hat. And um, 
y'all oops sorry um i'm keep y'all updated on that check in with y'all look a few more days let y'all know how this liquid diet is going But they say after you do something three times, you do it three times in a row, it becomes, you know, routine. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But anyway, you guys, that's all I wanted to do. I ain't going to keep y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all. Thank you for listening, watching, and checking in with my journey, going along with this progress. I'll also let y'all know how much weight I've been losing from day to day. Uh, I don't know if I want y'all to know what I started with. I don't know if I want y'all in my business like that. You know, I don't even share how much I weigh with my family. The doctors only know because they gotta know. It's not like an embarrassing thing. I don't know what it is, but, you know, but I'll tell you how much I lost. Oh, okay. And I'll keep it real with y'all. I ain't gonna lie about how much I lost or gain or nothing like that. But, yeah. Anyway, continue to follow me on this journey. Thank you guys so much for y'all support. It does not go unnoticed. It is very appreciated. It keeps me motivated and it keeps me sane. So thank you guys. Um, make sure you guys continue to leave comments below. Subscribe. Share with your mommy, auntie, your uncle, your sister, your brother, your best friend. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next update. Peace out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.